Welcome back to the rather screwed up world of the Celtic Republic holding against the Germans. So every time we looks like they're starting to play, every time it looks like they're trying to push in, we start pushing them back. Again, we still don't have the air, air superiority. I am building more planes, but it takes for take them. No, probably. Is the one thing we have going for us is our relatively large navy for our size, but even then we're losing a lot. Like I am updating these old recon class cruisers to be perhaps some anti-air capability, but that's going to take a while. And we lost one of just lost one of our old. Well, not old, one of our battleships to a basic damn fighter. This is why battleships died out in real life. Defense, agility, and speed are all lower than theirs. I might just put these on the English Channel to try and help out here. Go rush straight for interception detection. In hindsight, going down this tree was a bad idea. They got with strategic destruction. Well, the Molotov Riven Shark path has been broken. So it'd be interesting to see how this cha how this changes the air, air situation because previous games I've noticed that once they've the Germans start pulling all their planes off to the eastern front, once this happens. Anyway, we are just gonna hold on. So yeah, we're we're basically holding our own on the ground. I mean, we're just sitting there and letting them bang their heads off us. So we've lost forty two thousand. Let's see. So thirty eight thousand to the rate of German Reich. They've lost. 381,000. Like, we're, I think we're doing, being at 10 times as much damage as, as we're taking. Yeah, 138 to, to Hungary. And they've lost 57,000 to us. We don't have air superiority. We're having problems with the Navy, with our Navy, but we're holding. Yeah, the Germans have pulled almost all of their fighters away from here. Which means we can actually start doing more. And anti-air is disrupting them, shooting them down. I think we've actually managed to weather the storm. Just... Which of course means the Soviets are going to be taking an absolute pounding. Might as well send them a they probably need trains. Trucks as well. I have a lot of old stuff I could capture. Send them. About 20. Well. Very short of rubber. Do have a couple of uh, plants coming in a bit. Rumor goes have gone up. Need more. Won't have any. Maybe, maybe.
resource gain efficiency. I know it's a little bit ahead, but that doesn't really matter much for engineering ones or industrial ones. They always pay themselves pretty sure. They're sending a load of old tactical bombers, but yeah, I think we've actually managed to push them back or at least hold them back. See now. Or boys. Green specialist. Ah uh, yes, he's got what's left of the big fleet. Might as well book. Green specialist, do I not? He's ground attack, infantry defense, okay. Him, probably rate again. Mm -hmm. side, well, we already have a screens expert, so I may as well switch over to him. Mr. General Wimberly. Plastic deep. I suspect overwhelming fire would be better, but I can't get that because the doctrines I. But no matter. Oh, what are you doing? Okay, we finally have an ace pilot. First fighter whip. See if I can build another one over here just to give him some extra. Yeah, we're really short of aluminium and rubber. Of course, this keeps getting knocked back because this trying to get. And we've just lost air superiority again. This must have got annoyed with us. USSR wants a non-aggression pact. Okay, I'm fine with that. It's less, th less things for us to worry about. Well, that's a battle I like to see. Some of the, at least one of their, well, a little pre-dreadnoughts. Yes, that is a very good battle. Got rid of at least two capital ships. Cruisers, destroyer. Convoy is nice as well. And the Soviets want to buy our old short Singapore cruisers. That's fine with me. Actually, on second thoughts, add to the add this to the flotte de Britain because this actually has some better anti-air. We need. Hmm. Start getting some better better planes. Oh, Japan has declared war on the Dutch East Indies, which means we're going to be at war with them soon. Ray. Well, much I can really do about that. Health hospitals. Healed soldier can still be useful to society. A dead one can. Meanwhile, the uh, intern are pushing it. Are they pushing Sweden or are they push motorized? Needs um equipment support. Oh, so this is just the regular motorized. My head actually designed was 
finisher. I did have medium tanks, but I can't afford them right now. Wait, do we no longer have a superior enemy against us? And they must really have been have spent a lot of people here. Yeah. Gus has joined us. Well, the Yanks are trying to land near Cherbourg. Not sure that's going to work, lads, but you do you. See if I can train up more of the three more of these just to fill out this army. I might have these as a second pushing force once we start pushing back. Of course, we're short of guns now. Fuel. Hmm, Sweden wants to lend us guns because we are short. Well, I'll take them. There was a way to just also automatically convert anything we captured rather than having to do this all the time. So I think I'm going to go with quality manufacturing because that's fuel consumption and tank and armor variants being more reliable. We want that. We want those. Hmm, still have lower air defense than... Get a better engine. Machine gun, let's see if I can push a couple. Oh yes, that significantly bumps bumps up their air attack. Should help a bit. Probably won't help with the air defense, but Let's see, am I upgrading? I've got this air focus. I think I'm gonna prove small airframe probably. So it would add an extra two air defense on just from having a better or robust construction. Hey, we shot down an enemy air base. Cacciatore scientifico. Well, Vichy France has now joined the fight. Probably won't go too well for them either. Claimed our territory. And we hold one of their core provinces. Hey, it's not one of France. It's not France anymore. A Celtic nation, you... That's an interesting call sign. Hockey. So Belgium has revolted against their uh, what was it? The Rice Commissariat Belgium Nord Frankreich. Last time when I was playing as the United Kingdom of Scandinavia, I put this as an excuse to push into pushing into Germany did not go well. I think I'm going to avoid doing that this time around. Supply situation not great because all these railway bottles and he never seems to bother building 
Oh, we're absolutely walloping the old fishy French fleet. One of them has escaped. Two of them escaped. I don't think they're going to be able to do very much for very much longer. Trade you even more. I think you need to be up. The, the Flotte de Bretagne of Old Man Reverse there. Cruisers Battle Square. So I do have capital tips. I may as well go with big gun experts. Oh, this officer likes big guns and is incapable of lying. Find some of the snark in this game to be so funny. <laughs> oh, we finally sank the Corbet and the Bretagne in one of our ships. Remind the French who really owns it. For now, naval invasion of Western France. Let me get by sending a computer. Who uh, to push into Montpellier? So oh, I'm sorry to think that I should look at creating the staging a naval invasion of Casablanca. Try pushing the war back a bit or pushing forwards or whatever. But I do need to actually start researching those. One thing I've noticed is that um, we the Scandinavia playthrough I had, I had a perfect defensive position here in southern Denmark, but I just couldn't push past it very easily. Whereas here, I do have the ability to push out there, but I also have the ability to actually project a navy down this end. Of course, it won't be. Easy, but and what was it? So the Irish naval are I think with fly swatter here because just to keep help things away. We need to go back and rename some of the ships with Wait, <laughs> Malta is a separate country now? That's... I didn't notice that. Is that something that the mod adds? Or the game setup or what? Oh yeah, it's just a standard... generic focus tree for... six. Huh. Must have been that like that right from the start and I just or Republic of Cyprus. Oh never actually noticed any of this. It doesn't look like they've gone down the 
decolonization path, which is what this usually leads to this. Sort of Yeah, Hong Kong's still on. Yeah, it must be something with the uh, cosmic unification stars. Huh. Never know, Slash. I wonder what, um, I'm starting to research the Marines and kind of what it, Marines would be in most locales. Because I do know that in um, Irish Gaelic, because I was looking this up recently, it's um, Mir Haidar, Sea Soldiers. Well, there isn't anything others. Well, since I have nothing else to give this guy, I might well make him a cruiser captain. And if I have any spare heavy cruisers... Yes, I do have this one, which I really call the Mull. Mull Island, which I believe is somewhere in the... These old body class, I should probably get rid of, but I'll rename this to Rays. I really wish this game did include um, Rita boats. Really, really good for my. Factories for guns. Gun. Need more guns. So much. Right, I think I'm going to leave it there for this episode. A bit short than usual, but a lot of this is just building up to what will eventually be a push into into Morocco. Ooh! Looks like England has actually tried doing a landing from from Malta. That's interesting. But yeah, I'm gonna start trying to build up towards a naval invasion of Casablanca, and if that w and if the English manage to push through before that, well, we can always try helping them take out Libya. Anyway, that's gonna be it for now. Next one. Hey for now.